shall come to life. Everybody that keeps the laws of God shall come to life. This is what we got to do to live. This is what we got to do to tell our children how to live. Because what the black men is hate one another in the street. They killing off one another in the street. But our older people, they wonder why. Every time they turn on the news, black people are killing one another. Right. We know, dog. It's time for the black woman and the black man to wake up. Right. And come back to the laws of life. Give me Proverbs 7 and 2. What you got to do to live? It's time for us to put down these guns and pick up a bow. Right. Pick up a book and read it. It's time for you to cut off your radio and pick up a book and read it. Get up. Read. Proverbs chapter 7 verse 2. Read. Keep my commandments and live. The Most High God said to keep his commandments and live. Bring it up. If you want to live, keep God's commandments. That's right. But if you want to keep dying, guess what? Keep doing what you're doing. Right. Read it out. Proverbs 29. Get out. The Bible is the only true book. The Bible is the only true book on this earth. The Bible is your history book, black man. The white man did not write this Bible. Right. Read. Proverbs 29, 18. Uh -huh. Where there is no vision. The Most High God said where there is no vision, you want to keep going to a football game every year and not teaching your children who you are. Read. The people perish. That's why we perishing in these streets. That's why we dying in these streets. We have no knowledge of who we are. Young men, let me ask y'all a question. We got the greatest knowledge you ain't gonna never do. Give me Hosea 4 and 6. Bring it out. Bring it out. Give me Hosea 4 and 6. The game bangers, they don't want to hear the knowledge. The whores walking up and down the street, they don't want to hear the knowledge. The Christians that's walking up and down the street do not want to hear the knowledge. I'm gonna call that right now. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Hey, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. The Bible said, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. The black woman, you are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Hey, Sam, get up, man. Oh. That's wrong with the black woman. I reject you because you reject not this black woman, one of them that try to fight with the white woman her in your head. Read. I will also reject you. God said he gonna reject you. Read. That thou shalt be no priest to me. See, thou hast forgot the law of thy God. Y'all forgot the laws of God, and y'all don't care nothing about the laws of God. Right. Read. I will also forget thy children. God gonna forget you and your children. Goddamn. 30. Nine. That's what's wrong with the black woman. All y'all, hey, excuse me, y'all come over here for a minute. Oh, uh, y'all don't want to hear the laws of God? Bring it out. Bring it out. That's what's wrong with the black woman. Read. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 9. Read. That this is a rebellious people. Most high God said that y'all are rebellious people. Y'all don't want to do nothing this Bible say. And we got the greatest knowledge for your kids. I want your kids to know this knowledge of the Bible. Read that again. That this is a rebellious people. The most high God said that you black, you Hispanic, you Native Americans, now you're rebellious people. Read. Lying children. Y'all lying about y'all love God. The word of God coming out right now. Right. Y'all just looking at us. That's right. Read. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Y'all don't want to hear the laws of God. Y'all stop y'all ears up to the laws of God. As soon as somebody gets shot in the streets, y'all cry, y'all have a candlelight vigil. Read. Which say to the seers, see not. Y'all don't see what we doing. Don't tell our women to put on no clothes. Don't tell our game bangers to put the guns up. Don't tell them to cut out their young got it. Don't tell them to cut out their young thug. Read. And to the prophets, prophesy not. Unto us, right thing. Don't tell us what we're doing wrong according to the Bible, but what? Speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceit. It's a, y'all want us to speak to y'all smooth things. Y'all want some real men of God to come out here and speak to y'all some smooth things. Now, don't let y'all don't get us Sunday morning service. Right. The pastor gonna jump around and say, you what? Jesus this and Jesus that. Get your money, you're going to prosper, and you're going to be blessed. Those are smooth things. 
When we come out here and you tell you know, the laws of the Most High God, but you reject them. Read that again. Now go to uh, 29. Isaiah 29. Verse 29. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. This was wrong with the black folk. Read. Wherefore the Lord said, The Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth, and with. Slow down. He said, Much as this people draw me near me with this mouth. Y'all talking about y'all love God, but read. And with their lips do honor me. We love Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That's what y'all going to be saying in church tomorrow. Read. Go. But have removed their hearts far from me. But y'all remove y'all hearts far from God. Y'all don't know the God of this Bible. Right. Y'all don't know the almighty God of Israel. Right. Y'all don't know what God done done for you. He delivered you out of Egypt, black man. Out of the hands of Pharaoh. Read. And their fear towards me is taught by the precepts of men. That's why y'all ain't scared of God. Because the white man taught you you can do what you want to do. That's why y'all ain't scared of God. Right. Read. Verse 14. Now read that again. Verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. As much as y'all black folks, y'all love to go to church. How spiritual y'all live. Read. And with their lips do honor me. Y'all think y'all talking about y'all. Y'all honor God with y'all lips. Read. But have removed their hearts far from me. Y'all removed y'all hearts far from God. Y'all don't know God. Do you love God something? And their fear towards me is taught by the precepts of men. The fear towards God has been taught by the precepts of men. The white man, your slave master. Right. He yeah, taught you how to fear God. That's right. This was wrong with the black people. Y'all go about trying to do y'all own thing. When y'all gonna come back to the Bible and do what the Bible say, do give me Romans 10 and 2. When you gonna come back and do what this Bible say, do? It's time for y'all to wake up out y'all sleep. You can't run around in this world that God made for you and do what you want to do. Ready? Yeah. Romans chapter 10 and verse 2. Read. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God. So y'all, we bear y'all record. Y'all say y'all spiritual. Y'all got a zeal for God. Read. But not according to knowledge. But not according to the knowledge of God. What is the knowledge of God? Hold right there and give me the knowledge. Malachi 2 and 7. Y'all got a zeal for God. But y'all is not according to the knowledge of God. What is the knowledge of God? Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. Read. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. It said the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. And so y'all should be seeking the laws of God at y'all preacher's mouth. But the preacher ain't giving y'all no law. Right. The right. preacher telling y'all to come at y'all law. Go back. To Romans. Read. Start to finish up. Romans chapter 10, verse 2. Read. For I bear them record uh -huh. that they have a zeal of God. Y'all got a zeal of God. Meaning y'all very spiritual. Talking about your love, God. Read. But not according to knowledge. But not according to these laws, statutes, and commandments. Read. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness. Y'all being ignorant of God's righteousness, meaning his laws, his statutes, and his commandments. Read. And going about to establish their own righteousness. Y'all going about to establish your own righteousness. Y'all don't develop your own law. Every year y'all gotta come to a southern heritage class. That is not your heritage. A football game is not your heritage, black man. Right, right. A yeah. band jumping up and down, blowing a trumpet is not your heritage. You are much greater than that. Black folks love entertainment. That's all we love is entertaining one another. When you gonna come back to who you are according to the Bible? Right. Do you know who you are according to the Bible, young man? Yeah. Come over here and learn something. Give me a Bethel, chapter 2. Bring it up, up. Bring Let it me up. show you who you are according to the Bible, bro. First, I'm gonna tell you this right here. This is a law. Habakkuk chapter two, verse eighteen. Habakkuk chapter two, verse eighteen. Read. What prophet is the graven image? You know what a graven image is, bro? Yeah, that's when somebody takes something and they cut it, they cut it out, and they tell you this represents you. Worship this. This is me. So read that again. What prophet is the graven image? The Bible said, "What prophet the graven image?" Read. 
that the maker thereof have graven it. That the maker thereof have graven it. So what I'm getting to, bro, that image around your neck, what does that prophet you read? The molten image uh -huh. and a teacher of lies. Do you know that around your neck is a teacher of lies, bro? What you got on your head is a teacher of lies. Do you know who started that? A white man named Albert Pike. He was the head of the Ku Klux Klan, bro. Right. Bring it out, dog. Bring it out. You gotta Google this before you put this stuff on. Bring it out, dog. Yeah, you heard of him. Yeah. I know who Albert Pike is. This way before him. It was way before him, huh? Way before. Well, who, who bought it to him, bro? Who taught you how to be there? Give Albert me the license to an eight. First, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta know this right here, bro. You gotta know that we've been taught lies since we got off those slave ships. What I'm finna teach you is the truth according to the Bible. What they have taught you is not the truth. This is what got our people in the situation we're in because we are not learning the truth. Watch this right here, read. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Read. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophies and vain deceit. The Bible said beware lest any man spoil you through philosophies and vain deceit. Read. After the tradition of man. After the traditions of man. Read. After the rudiments of the world. After the rudiments of the world, but what? And not after Christ. But not after Christ. Do you, are no. you a Christian? You are? Give me uh, 1 Peter 2 and 21. Let's see if you're a Christian. Let's see if the Bible, are you a Christian according to the Bible? And believe me, bro, we're not out here to, to put you down. We out here to show you something different in life. Right. Because once right. upon a time, we didn't know this neither. Right. You see what I'm saying? Watch this. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 21. Read. For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us. Oh, slow down and read it right. Slow down. I'm reading it too fast. They don't understand. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 21. Read. For even hereunto were ye called, uh -huh. because Christ also suffered for us. So Christ suffered for us, right? Read. Leaving us an example. He, he suffered and left us an example. Read. That ye should follow his steps. So we supposed to follow Christ's steps. That was being a Christian mean, right? So was Christ a Mason? He wasn't. He wasn't. So why are you saying you're a Christian? So if Christ wasn't a Mason, how are you a follower of Christ? Right. You know, huh? you know? It don't make no sense. Right. So you need to take that off and throw it in the garbage and get this truth knowledge. Yeah, Whatever right. I'm going to bring out to you is who you are according to the Bible. Right. You're you know? not going to learn this in Masonry. It's just the way it is. We you know, know what I'm saying? It's real. Watch this. I'm going to go to Deuteronomy 28. I'm going to show you that we are the chosen people of God. Mason ain't going to tell you that. They want you to stay at the bottom of society thinking that you can live to be equal to everybody. Because that's all Masonic do. Really, it's living for a favor. It's like, what y'all say, being my brother's keeper or whatever. What you doing is looking for a favor from the white man. If you get into trouble, you think being a Mason is going to help you. That's all it's about. Or if you get into trouble, you want somebody to come help you. Only, th only thing going to help you is keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments. Right. Right. Death and destruction is coming to America. Right. And masonry ain't going to be able to save our people. Because right. right. if masonry were going to save our people, guess what? We would have been saved. Right. Right. We would have been out of the conditions we in. Right. Read. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 4. All right, check this out. I'm going to show you something. You heard of the 12 tribes of Israel in the Bible? Are you familiar with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? All right. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Are you familiar with that? All right, give me Deuteronomy chapter uh, 32, I think it's 28. Let me show you who Israel, when we say Israel, let me show you what that means. Because a lot of people think we say Israel, they think we're talking about a country. But we're talking about a man and not a land right now. Genesis. Genesis, bro. Well, Genesis 32. Yeah, my bad. We are talking about a man. Let me show you who this man is first. Bring it up. 32, 28. Genesis 32. Okay. Genesis chapter 32, verse 28. Read. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. He said that Jacob's name was changed. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The Most High God said, Your name shall be no, no longer called Jacob. But read. But Israel. But Israel. Why? Read. For as a prince has thou power with God. Because Israel means that you are a prince and you got power with God. Right. right. So. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Israel has 12 sons. On this side is the name of his 12 sons. We are the descendants of one of his 12 sons. Now on this side right here, this is what your slave master gonna call you when he drag you off that slave ship. 
So, do you see yourself on this side? Bring it out. Bring it out. I see what I put on the application. You see what you put on the application? What do you put on the application? Uh, African American or black. Uh, African American or black. Guess, guess who told you that? The same people told you that you was a Mason. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The same yeah. people, bro. These are the same people that drug us out cargo slave ship. Bro. Now, I'm going to prove to you what God called you. Now, what God called you? What tribe are you from? Don't be scared to say it, bro. You got to rep it like you repping Mason. Right. You yeah. repping yeah. Alma Pike. You need to be repping this right here. Yes, yeah. sir. Right. Now, what God call you? Israelite. Now, what they say right there beside you? Judah. You are from the tribe of Judah. Yes, yeah. 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 See, Mason ain't gonna teach you that. They want you to think that you what? What you put on your application. They don't want you to know who you are according to God. That's because right. if you find yeah. out who you are according to God, they know things gonna come to an end for them. Yes, they Lord. in rulership right now. We're finna read it out the Bible. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass. So this is Moses talking to the children of Israel. Alright? You familiar with Moses? When God sent Moses and Aaron into Egypt deliver the children of Israel. We walked through on dry ground, came into the wilderness. Alright? We're in the wilderness. Now Moses is talking to the children of Israel. Read. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses tell you, look, y'all see what God just done for us, right? But if you shall hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, meaning if you listen and do what God say, do read. To observe and to do all his commandments. We got to do all God's commandments, not just ten. I know in Mason area or Christianity, they tell us we just got Ten Commandments to keep. For example, you familiar with the Ten Commandments? All right. Homosexuality is not in the Ten Commandments, right? No, no. But it's a law against God. See what I'm saying? So it's more than Ten Commandments. That's right. All right, read. Which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. The Most High God said if, you so, if the so-called blacks, all the people on this sign right here, these are our people. He said, if y'all do what I say do, I'm going to set y'all high above all nations upon this earth. Now I'm going to ask you, are these people on this sign, are we above all nations on the earth? <coughs> we are. <laughs> so the American blacks, we're above everybody. We're shooting and killing up one another in the street. We the last, we the first five and the last high. Our communities are full of STDs, AIDS, uh, what you can think of. Are we, on the, are we on the bottom of society or the top of society? <laughs> We on the bottom. Now let God tell it we on the bottom. That's what we read. Right. Why? Because we what? Read. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So the Most High God said, if we do not listen to what He said, do it. Bring it out. Yeah. On this side. Watch this. To observe, to do all His commandments. If we don't do oh, all Lord. His commandments. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, Read. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, I'm going to see if you're paying attention. He said that if we didn't do what he said, do what was going to happen to us? He was going to curse us. This is how we know that we are these people. Read. Now we're going to go off in some of these curses. Keep reading. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. The Most High God said you were going to be cursed in the city for your disobedience. Meaning in Memphis, Nashville, New York. San Francisco, it don't matter what city you go to, you're going to be at the bottom of society. Right. You're going to yep. be the first five and the last higher. That's right. right. Get up. Drugs, prostitution, those are curses in the city. Read. And curse shall thou be in the field. What fields were we cursed in? The cotton field, the sugar cane field, the bean field. That was a curse for our people to go through that because we were disobedient to God. Right. It's time for us to wake back up and come back to our God. That's right. And keep the commandments of our God because that's what got us in this situation. You ever wonder why we go through the things we go through? Because we do not keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. Right. For one, we don't know who we are. So that's right. why we got, you got strong yeah. black men coming out here now to, pro, uh, to uh, stand up against what's going on and teaching our people who we are. Go to, uh, go to 37. Huh. Hey, hold on, hold on. Let me show. Did you know slave ship was in the Bible? Slave ship. The slave ship. Us coming across here on cargo slave ship. Did you know that was in the Bible? I'm just saying, yeah, because you want to leave. Let me get this to you right quick, bro. This is very valuable information. Bring you it up. go back and tell your mason, brother. Look, man, we gotta take this stuff off. I just learned some stuff from some guys on the street last night. Man, look, we ain't no mason. We the Israelites. We from the tribe of Judah. That's yes, right. That's what you gotta go tell them. Cause you keep worrying that. Guess what you gonna keep staying in? Captivity. 
you gonna keep waking up working for the white man. Your kids gonna keep waking up working for the white man. Bring it out. We trying to get up. We trying to get us out these situations. We, how you get out the situation you got in? You gotta find out first how you got in that situation. Now you gotta find out what you gotta do to get out that situation. That's right. Read this. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Let me read you about the slave ships in the Bible because you ain't going to hear this in the Christian church. Because when you go in the Christian church tomorrow, they're going to just start you off with Jesus, pass the plate around, choir going to sing, pass the plate around again, then you're going to sing your home, then you're going to do the same thing next Sunday. Over and over and over again. You ain't going to hear about this right here. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The Most High God said he's going to bring you into Egypt again. Remember, they just left out of Egypt. But the Most High God said, for your disobedience, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again. Now, Egypt is synonymous for what? Still what do you think Egypt is? On the back of every dollar is a pyramid. What do you think they know that you don't know? You somewhere. Watch this. Read that. Exodus chapter 20 verse 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. You say he brought us out of the land of Egypt? Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. So what is the most high God calling Egypt? The house of what? Bondage. So what is bondage? What's the definition of bondage? What is bondage? If you in bondage, you in what? You incarcerated, you in what? Keep going. Captivity. You in slavery. Now watch this. Now you're going to understand the Deuteronomy. Watch this. I want to ask you one thing, real quick. You said you're a Mason, right? What secrets have they showed you? Tell the truth, bro. They showed you no damn. It ain't no damn. The secret is, you the Israelites, we God's chosen people. That's we got to right. keep the commandments to get the hell up out of this captivity. Bro. That's, right. That's, right. That's the secret. The secret, I'm going to tell you a secret. The secret is, if we keep God's law, statutes, and commandments, we going to be like Superman on this planet Earth. Right. That's That's right. Right. Our people don't even need it, though, bro. Trying to wake up and repent, bro. You know what I'm saying? They don't got no secret, bro. You know what I'm saying? What, where, uh, why we don't wear grocery stores at? What the black masons at? They got a chain of grocery stores. They own grocery stores where our people go and shop in. Right. What the black masons at? They got their own cars where we go and drive. That we manufacture. They yeah. don't got no secret. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.